normal everyday high school girl turns into definitely very um normal love the yeah. flaming rage there yes and the bamboo kendos and the metal plate face oh hi i'm joe short for josephine yuki Oh, yuck. I just... something something. So it was, like, totally cool when my parents decided to send me to Japan for my summer vacation. And I was so lucky to get accepted to Honest Osaki's uh, Kendo School. Kendo Store and so, used car sales. Imagine, imagine learning from one of Japan's greatest Kendo Masters. And uh, then... And then game demo. Uh, and, uh, yes. Well, okay, folks. Welcome to Fellow Bravers Game Showcase. I am your host, Devar Akron. And joining me today is a rare uh, friend of mine that you will, that uh, that uh, is in my recordings, and it's Ross Fairies from uh, Fan Service Fiesta. Oh, <laughs> someone <laughs> didn't play this game very well. Mm, well. I'm just gonna run into the wall. <laughs> <laughs> I will run into the wall full of rage. <laughs> Okay, let's get Very into the menu. Let's get into the menu and the configuration so we can sort out introductions properly. So yeah, uh, and this is Ross Fairies. He's from Fan Service Fiesta and uh, other shit shows as. Uh, uh, let's see what other shows you're working on. <laughs> Jeez, I do a ton of different ones, but you can find them. My find me on my YouTube channel, Fanboy Fairies, or ParadiseandFairies.com. Oh yes, yes, yes. Uh, I was thinking about saying those things. You! Stop jumping! Yes! Uh, you! No, no, stop no, coming! No, 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 no! Hey! Down. Hey! Hey, you! Hey, yo! Hey, you! Nice hat! <laughs> oh, now they're all starting to jump! God oh, damn. great! They're all copying each other now! So, yeah, Kendo Rage. Ross just kinda dropped this on me just because, well. <laughs> uh, what's your reason for dropping this on me again? <laughs> because it's fucking Kendo Rage. All right then. Nof nothing more needs to be said. So, all right, let's start. It has bouncing ghosts. What more do you want from a game? I don't know. Gameplay <laughs> for one thing. Okay, but I I'm sorry. I'm just distracted by the lovely hat wearers here. Mm-hmm. Okay, so uh, those ghosts have personality. I especially like the fish ghost. <laughs> the one with the fin. Yeah. Anyway, they give Slimer a run for their money for cuteness. Anyway. <clears throat> anyway, uh, so, uh, yeah, here's the options. Uh, let's see if we can be hard, easy, or normal on ourselves. I suggest easy. Yeah. This is pretty hard. Okay, and what's the sound? Eh, it's just your typical sound place. Key and assign. Don't mess adjust. with that. Don't mess with those. Nope, I don't think we need to mess with any of this stuff. And... <laughs> Hey, well, you know, new world record for me, because usually when Madhog's involved, it's like, takes five minutes for an introduction to happen. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's get into the game. Master Osaki found me this nice little mountain cabin, and only six hours from school! <laughs> only? As I was running to the bus, I heard a voice behind me. Why do you Why rush? Do so? You rush so. Who wants to know? It is I, Osaki Yoitomo, Japan's greatest kendo master and zone goddess from Slayers and Persona. But you can call me Bob. Sensei. Yes, it is I. We will now begin your first lesson. So soon? But I just ate. I'm afraid the world just cannot wait. Pollution, overcrowding, war. We mustn't delay our quest to rid the earth of rotten evildoers. Oh, Ooh, I hate uh, rotten evildoers. And you can start by destroying the evil creatures that line your path to school. All six hours? What are you something I forgot to talk? Fear not, fear not, for you shall be protected by the ancient Zopiki talisman. Given to me by the wizard Hyundai. Hyundai? And his birthday bash. <laughs> what? This totem gave the greatest Ferrati strength to defeat General Moto's legions in the Battle of 
Detroit. <laughs> Yo, yeah. <laughs> oh, this dude. mystical charm will make you invincible, more or less. Oh, it's so cute. Where do the batteries go? Well, yeah. We're doomed. Yeah, my sentiments exactly. Does it come in blue? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, they just swore in a Super Nintendo game. Oh my gosh, and we know how to use this thing apparently. Alright then, now let's see what we got here to work with. Because I've got no manual to work with on this, so... Is this... Uh, wait. Hey, I can shuffle! Uh-huh. I can moonwalk! Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I can duck. And... No, I can't look up. Okay, let's see what... Whoa! So that I do... consumed I... your HP, that's do a... not use that, that button. That's, like a... Ever. that's a dash, so avoid that button. Okay, there's the jump. She can't double jump. You are no. terrible at this. And there's that, which takes up the side. And nothing else. You can swing rapidly, or just, um, um, build up attack if you want. Yeah, so let's just If you let going. build up, you get a projectile. Ah, I see. That is all good, well and good Usually then. Generally speaking, the weapon that you have right whoa, now is the is... best for bosses. This is, whoa, and here we go. Ah. Need to take that ditto. <laughs> All the dittos must die. Okay, and we must do what the guy did and go on. Of course, the demo tells us the best way to get through this situation is to go on with rage in our hearts. You can also attack upwards too. Yeah, so I notice. We need to jump up here. Whee! Okay, so let's get up. So tell him, so, so do tell Ross, do, do you know much about this game? Because, uh, you know, just for a bit of uh, trivia or backstory on this thing. Apparently this was based on an um, anime OVA series that never came out here. So they more or less completely dropped the licensing any reference to it. Ah, much like, um, uh, I'm trying to think of what the anime was, but, but I remember there was a anime that well actually a lot of anime based OVAs actually had a retro game based on them but then had it completely changed for reasons to do yeah a lot of that happened um uh there was a couple famous examples like UN Squ Squadron on the SNES mm. uh, was a pretty well known one I'm trying, to, uh, I'm trying to remember one that I oh meet the new Joe that fool Osaki will never know. It's not you. I think he will. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, we got a bit of a problem here, guys. Yeah, she's beating your ass. That's because I still need to learn the uh, controls here and such. Okay, if we have good. We have lives. Ah. Like, you probably shouldn't stay that far away from her, you can't quite attack her from a distance. Yeah, I'm just... There you go. And we defeated her. With... Mm -hmm. With a lot of, uh, sass. Oh, here's Osaki. Made it! To the bus. Mm-hmm. Round clear! Well done. But in the words of the great master Mitsubishi, Mitsubishi you ain't yeah. heard nothing yet. <laughs> I like how they try to put the accent on by saying nothing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we got seven rounds of this apparently. Yep. Okay, let's get in. Now, welcome to the most Japanese of stages. Snow? Oh, great. Like, I'm really dressed for this. Okay, let's uh, drop a, a safe state here. Just because. Usually I would... Usually I would... Uh, avoid showing that for authenticity's sake, but... Uh, what the heck? We have a Japanese game show host, then. Of course. 
Don't you know anything about Japan? <laughs> well, I I know quite a bit about Japanese game shows, Gaki no Sukai being one of them. Whoa. Ah, a polar bear! Polar bears from Japan and Olaf's. Ah, frick, I thought I could jump for that. Ghosts are manhandling you. Yeah, this is a. Uh... You're trying to be too fast. Yeah, I'm trying to get through this level. That's... Yo, frick. This is not the type of game that you rush. Yeah, I can see you that now. You have to be kind of slow and methodical. Yeah, just like a typical platformer. You know, like Mario and Sonic games of the old. Uh -huh. Because this is the kind of the strangest thing about uh, this sort of game style, really. Because these action platformers put you into a false sense of security, almost. Okay, I can actually go up here if I wanted to. Maybe. Uh, let's... Can you make that jump? Uh, probably not, since I just screwed myself over. With... Oh, oh. Ah, maybe I could. Nope, I screwed it over too much before I realized that I could do it. But you can go that way at least and eventually get up there. Yeah. Oh, little dittos. Those dittos are taking you down. Well, that's because I jumped right into them because they didn't. I didn't know they would be there. Now, did I? I think there's an extra life way over there. Over this way? No, in the snow. Oh, in the snow? As in, down here? See the little face? Ah, yes, I see it now. I need to get up there. Okay, so she can't jump too high, even though she's really good. Ah, oh, there we go. Come on. Let's... Well, we have to attack the snow there. There we go. There you go. Right. Oh, come... <laughs> the ice <laughs> physics uh, are getting to me. <laughs> Let's go this way. Oh, that almost had that me. That was a power up. And I'm dead again. If you let those bounce around the screen a little bit more, the color will change, and you can change to a di and you can potentially collect a different weapon. Hmm. I see. Okay, Japanese game host shows. Game show host. Yeah, game show hosts. I do not want to see any more Takeshi's Castle right now. This is my gig, honey. I'm gonna rock your world. One and a two and a. Oh gosh, please no. Hey, can I actually attack the uh, projectiles? Hey. And we took hey, care of it. Hey, without dying for once. <laughs> I must be improving <laughs> somewhat. Maybe. Okay, and we are to another boss now. What mm -hmm. what type of world will you take us next? Run stereotypical Japanese snowman. Wasn't that the, wasn't that nice? I don't suppose the uh, great wizard Hyundai gave you a set of earplugs. I don't get that. <sighs> Maybe she was being sarcastic. <laughs> Oh, she was talking about the boss. I get you now. There's something fishy here. Sorry, I couldn't resist. Which one? Game creators or you? Yes. Right, because I know the Japanese love their puns. Just as oh, much as I do. That was probably initially a pun, but then they, you know... Had to make a an and English they, like, equivalent. Localize the pun. Yeah, had to make an English equivalent. Okay. Oh, yes, that's good. I can actually swim without Kinda. any <laughs> without any animation apparently. <laughs> ah. You can just jump indefinitely. That's the same thing as swimming, right? <laughs> I have to keep pressing the button too. Mm-hmm. And the oh, I know. And the currents are quite strong, apparently. Time stop. Time stop. What's this about time stopping? What the? 
boss. Uh, uh, mid boss. Ah, mid boss. Hello there, mid boss. Uh, can I, can I hit you in the head, please? Oh gosh, we're you probably shouldn't ask him. <laughs> Just do it. Just do it. <laughs> Oh, by the way, you should probably know that you have a limited amount of time to make it to school. Oh, but you, thanks for telling me this. You see that time at the top of the screen? Yeah. Well, I, it, it ends oh up my... getting below, like, I think I think you have until, like, 9 a.m. to get to school. Well, we're making good time, I think. And also, we had a gropey lobster try to gr his hand at us. Very gropey. Right, let's get... Yep. Hey, you have a different weapon now. You oh, have the best life. boss weapon. Save state here? But yeah, this is probably the weapon you're going to want to keep. It's best for bosses. Alright. Come on. The green one. Yes, the green one. As I said, I'm, not, I'm working without a manual here, so... This is... You think I got a manual with my aim? <laughs> what, you didn't get a manual with yours? Nope, I buy it used. Oh. That's quite only. You know you can kill those things. Ah, I could. I thought they were just uh, indestructible things. Well, oh, they're extremely destructible. Oh, good. Nice to know. It seems to be a common theme of us right now that we would be, you'd be tell warning me about these things way too late. <laughs> yep. Oh, by the way, this boss is like a rat bastard. So good luck. <laughs> All right then. Safe state then. Food fight! No, no, I don't want to see that movie. Sushi for, that, for dinner. I do not want this movie in my life. No matter how much the internet wants me to have it. Oh, that's why. It's because there's two of them. And there's three of them now. Um, you can stay there without being, without hitting you as long as it's flashing. Ah, freak. And one of them's gone. Right, come on. And Told you this boss was a rat bastard. Yes, I can see the rat bastard indeed. Let's just say, let's just load state here. And let's try to make good use of our powers of... Seedy face! Hey! Come on. Ish. Ah, bugger. This is not good. Hey, hey, no, come on, let's, let's be, let's, let's all be, let's all, let's all, let's all have some fun here, guys. This is a Super Nintendo game, after all, and I lost. This is not good. <laughs> Told <laughs> you this boss wasn't easy. Yeah, I can see that. Okay, let's save state here instead. If you attack it rapidly while it's flashing, it can't hurt you, especially if you were to, like, crouch on the far right side of the screen and attack it. Yeah, I was going to try and find a uh, good way to get behind it without dying. <laughs> let's just, let's see if we can do it, like, no, I can't jump, even jump over it. Unless, ah, no, it's not going to go for that. Oh. But the other option that you could do is try to camp out the middle of the screen and, um... Right, let's see. Okay, good. She's just gonna... Just attack as rapidly as you can. Mm, doesn't seem like this is a good place to hide. Oh. As one might think. Okay, we we won, I guess. Against that particular thing. Ah, I thought I could get away from it. Okay, then try to camp in the center then. Right. 
seems we had a lot of sword women back in the Super Nintendo era. Did. Well, I say the Super Nintendo era, but uh, I know there was a lot more sword women on other consoles. Like, which one are you thinking of in general? Uh, Valus for being one of them. Valus was on the Super Nintendo. Oh, good. Valus. I, I did thought Valus was on a Super Nintendo console, but. Uh, there was um, Super Valus on Super Nintendo. <laughs> yeah. Uh, was that the one where basically uh, that you could change party members, so to speak? No, that was Valus 3. Ah. Because I remember. I'm trying to remember which one was which, really, essentially. Because I know Valus way too well, but not too well to know which game comes when for each mechanic. Aye, you did very well there. Oh! Ah, uh, hold on, hold on, you're okay-ish, maybe? No, no, no you're dead. No, hold on, you still have another life here. Left. Yay, okay. Okay, maybe we should just go with this one and just hope for the best. This Blitzkrieg! Fishy! Die, Fishy! You don't belong in this world! <laughs> Let's wait for the side to go up so then we can go right in this face! You have defeated the And fishies. yet another fish demon has been felled! Osaki, let me make it to, to school! <laughs> Love the underwater bus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wonder what kind of mileage you get down there. <laughs> uh, probably not as good as. You the... float like a butterfly, and sink like a bean, bean. like a rice bean. <laughs> oh no, bad joke. <laughs> okay, so.